Hello, everyone. Uh, the purpose of this short video is to explore a problem that's very common. The Syllogist Group, uh, who's our new business partner, we're Mosaic Corporation, they explained to us that a lot of you who are SysPro users are experiencing maybe 20 or 30 percent of your inbound purchase orders are EDI, in which case there's nothing to type into SysPro for these types of orders. They just come in and they get imported in. But 30, 40, 50 percent of your orders are still sent to you as a PDF attached to an email purchase order coming into you that has to be typically manually printed and then manually typed in to SysPro. This is a problem because people who are doing a lot of manual typing and manual data entry make mistakes. As those mistakes are extremely costly in the downstream process when the wrong products received by the customer have to be returned and then you have return material authorizations and things like that. Instead, it would be much better if you could bypass the manual data entry process and get the data from the purchase order directly into SysPro without manual data entry. So the product we're going to show you today is called Docstar IDC. And that product, Intelligent Data Capture, is designed to receive purchase orders that are coming in from your customers in batches. And those orders right here, we're going to take a look at one in just a second. You can set a batch size of one or two or three or 10 or however many orders you want. And your people, all they have to do instead of uh, printing purchase orders from your customers and then typing this data in, they just click on a batch. And when they open the batch, they can see this is a batch of three purchase orders that have come in. And they can see uh, whether or not the data has been captured correctly. Now, you, each of you who are watching this video can have your own custom fields that you want to go into SysPro. So obviously you want the customer's name, the date of the order, the purchase order number. Ship to is extremely important. If you notice that in this particular purchase order that came in from this customer, we broke it down by the actual street address, the city, the state, and the zip. And if we had a, a country, if it's outside the United States for a ship to phone, all that would have been captured also, but that was not present on this particular PO. Off to the left, you'll notice that this is one, two, three orders. This first one looks like a kind of a stop sign right there. So why is that? Well, the all of the data, and by the way, you can have any column descriptors that you want. And this is just a kind of a generic set of them, but they typically are a good place to start. If you notice what happened on this particular purchase order, if I zoom into quantity, it says here, lift gate delivery quantity zero, and rate zero, and amount zero. So there's nothing to this actually being ordered here. So what I can do is just put zero right here in this field and hit enter on the keyboard. And if you notice that it satisfies this requirement and I get the green check mark here. If I move on to the next order, see all I'm doing is I'm not typing anything. I'm just basically verifying that the data has been lifted correctly. Here's a little bit more complex order. We did, you know, get the ship to name, ship to address, and all that up here. But we have the item uh, descriptors. We have the description of the items. We have the quantities. We have the unit price, and we have the line total. And then we have the total amount right here. If I click in this field, you see how it captured the total amount. And then finally, uh, this last order right here is just a, a single line item, right? So. Your folks, all they have to do is verify that this data is correct, and then when they click Submit, the data can be uh, imported directly into SysPro without typing anything, except maybe in this case where I had to type a zero in this field right here. So you get two things. You get a lot more throughput, a lot more accuracy, and actually a third thing you get is that not having as many mistakes that can cause all the downstream problems of return material authorizations and things like that. 
So that's it, kind of a simple video, but it's an opportunity for you to uh, treat all of these PO-based orders just like you would EDI, except unlike EDI, uh, somebody on your sales entry team can diagnose problems with the files. Thank you very much.